So every time you publish your frame or website, a new version of your website will be generated. Through staging and versions, you can look back at the other website versions that you've published. Uh, you can also roll back your website and you can see if there's any errors in your published website. So let's head over to our project settings and then head over to staging and versions. And this is where you'll be able to see all of the publishes that you've made to your website. So you can see here that I can click on the latest, which is going to open the latest version of my website. And this URL is always going to show the latest version of my site that I've published. But I can also click on any of these versions that I've published previously. So let's click on this one. Uh, and this way I can look at what my website looked like when I published that version. Now you'll notice that the deploy buttons on this are grayed out. Um, if we want to deploy any of these versions, we'll have to enable staging. And what staging does is it allows us to always roll back to an older version of our website. So if I go back to this older version, I can now click on deploy, which means this is now the live version of our website. Uh, so if I go to my custom URL, which is fusion.framer.website, this will be the live version that's going to show on this URL. Um, you'll also notice that when I publish my website, a new version will be generated, but this version will not automatically be set live. That's because we have staging enabled. If we now want to deploy this version to my custom URL, I will have to click on deploy version, and this will now be the version that is live on my custom URL. You'll also notice that there's a few warnings here. What this means is that your website failed to optimize, um, which may cause your website to be slower or the SEO to suffer. Um, so if you want to see what this warning is, you can click on the warning and then download the error file. So in the error file, you can see a few things. We'll give you some context on what this error means. There are multiple errors you can get, but in this specific error, it says this page has nested links um, and it could not be optimized, which means it will be slower to load and the SEO will suffer. Uh, it is also showing which page has the nested links. In this case, there's no page showing, which means it's the home page. Um, we always show you a link on how to de debug this error or how to fix it. And we'll try to show you on which element this uh, nested link appears or where the error appears in your website. So let's head back to our canvas and see if we can fix this error. So I know that it's about nested links, so I'm gonna look for an element in my layer panel that has a link on it. And I can see that there's a button element here that has a link. So because it says it had has nested links, I'm going to assume that the element inside of it also has a link, which is a component. So I'm gonna click into the component and I can see here that on these two components, these also have links, which means this is a nested link because there's a link inside of a link which is technically not allowed by HTML and will cause your site not to optimize. So I think I'm gonna keep this link, but go back to my canvas and remove the link that is on this button frame that is wrapped around the component. So I'm gonna go over to link in the top right and just remove this. Now let's head back over to our project settings and staging inversions and publish it again. You will see a new version appear, it's optimizing, and you'll now see that it's successfully optimized because we've removed that nested link, which is not showing a warning anymore. So um, because this version is now optimized, this is actually the version I want to deploy. And this version is now live on my website. So if I click on this URL, this is now the optimized version of my website. It's the latest version, and this is exactly what I want to set live. So that is how you manage staging inversions and go back to previous versions of your website, but also fix certain warnings that might show up.